So here, what you're looking at is this wreath. You set up a wreath on Christmas on your door. It's showing you that this is a doorway out of here. What the wreath represents is the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish where every compass is pointing to. And just like the exclamation point is showing you that if you're made out of clay, you need to get to the center of the dish for your everlasting life. You're seeing this wreath is telling you that the doorway out of here is at the center of the dish where every compass points to. And another thing that they've been rubbing in your face, like it's literally on everything. You can see it on your birthday, you put it on your head. It's the same thing that you set up on your Christmas tree. It's the same story over and over and over again. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole. And at the center of the dish, there's a hole where the sun has to place its light or there's no astral jet coming out. And that is the tree of life. This is the source light where you need to get to. Every compass points to it. So you see, the source light comes shooting out of the hole, hitting the parabolic mirror and showering down on us. And the sun moves round and round and round, moving inward and outward, bringing the seasons. And when you see the spiral colored lights around your Christmas tree, that's for Ra, the rainbow, the sun. So when you hear Amen, that's the black sun. You go into a church, you see that there's the stained glass windows. That's because they're blocking out the sunlight and focusing your intent onto the black sun, which brings your intent into fruition. So the sun above your head is making your flesh and bones and blood and the sun beneath your feet, the engine of creation is bringing your intent and desires into reality. This is why they have you hating it so much and calling it all these horrible names because this is what brings everything into reality. And you cannot manifest reality uh, unless you can see where reality is coming from. So every year you set up your birthday cake and you blow out the candles and you make a wish and close your eyes, focusing your intent onto the black sun. And that's just like the stained windows at a church showing you that you're focusing your intent onto the black sun. Now, all the world is a stage, people. And at the very center, where every compass points to, is the doorway out of here. And that's where we need to get to. So, you hear, check your six, cover your six, rainbow six. It's all the same story over and over again. Which is the, six is meaning like your back, your backside, your asshole. And a rear admiral is guarding the asshole, which is the holy of holies your doorway out of here, making sure that you don't leave. And the only way we're going to get out of this place is if we all unite peacefully, a couple of million of us strong, side by side, and we'll make a big enough noise to get there, people. So type into your computer, blood over intent, and hit enter. That's type into your YouTube search, blood over intent, and hit enter. And you'll see hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of people we're all side by side, blood is thicker than water. And I recommend you place your blood, your video right beside ours. Okay, because we're heading to the center of the dish, people. When enough of us are side by side, we're gonna make it there, people. It's just that we need to make a noise. And this is how we're gonna make a noise, with blood over intent. So type that into your computer, people, and hit enter. And then place your video right beside the rest of ours. You know, we're in this shit together, people. And we need to stick together for our survival. I'm making myself available. If you have questions, just email me. That's superloomytv at gmail.com. And like I said, we need to be blood is thicker than water, people. We need to stick together. And we need to be like blood brothers and blood sisters. That's how we're going to get to the center of the dish. When we're sticking together like glue, people. All right, be well. How's it going? Thanks for joining me. So picking up where we left off in the previous video, there are no forests on flat earth, on flat earth decoded. What we're, what we're seeing here is these giant trees had giant roots that spread out across the earth. And this was a giant living creature. 
that came out of the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish where every compass points to. And as I was explaining that there's the tree of life at the center of the dish where every compass points to, I'm explaining to you that this, this was powered by the astral jet. And the astral jet is created when Jesus the Son places his light into the hole at the center of the dish and out from that hole comes the green astral jet shooting out and that would have went through all these veins like a fiber optic system. And they say the land beneath us is 25% water and 75% land. And I was just watching a video which was explaining how water might have turned the silica place and melted it away and water is much less important to the silica uh, system that was here before and when they say the flood what I'm seeing here is a flood that was obviously liquid and melted away what was silica uh, a silica highway of electrical system sort of like a short circuit was was created uh, by all this water is what somebody described it as so what I'm seeing here is that this is a giant organism that crept out across the earth coming out of the Holy of Holies and powered by the astral jet and giant trees and all that stuff and a whole living breathing organism spread out across the earth and now it's gone the trees are chopped down and you they say you fell from uh, you fell from the trees like monkeys, you know, they're laughing at us because the core of your brain, if you look at any brain chart, you'll see it's reptilian at the core of your brain. It's responsible for fight or flight. You would be a slave class reptilian and you're the food class and you can't see it. And you'll laugh and say, oh, uh, those videos that you post are reptilian eyes and blah, blah, blah. This, listen, this shit is real. You have a reptilian core to your brain. Zoom in on your own images of you when you were a child. Zoom in all those pictures and see if you can see. Like, take a picture of one of the eyes, zoom in. Take another picture, zoom in. Take another picture of that, zoom in, like with your iPhone. And you'll see that nearly everybody has at least one slit in one of their eyes. So, surely we're not monkeys, but the core of our brains, being that we have that response mechanism called fight or flight, they're telling you that's the reptilian core to your brain, that you stem from a reptilian, okay, not a fucking monkey. So when you see Avatar and all that shit, what they look like reptilian type beings and stuff, that's exactly what they're rubbing in our face. And what I'm telling you is at the center of the dish where every compass points to is where that creature originally crept out from. That's where heaven is. When we go through that hole at the center of the dish, when we pop out the other side, we'll see that this living creature is still alive on the other side. And it's a living giant being that's spread out across the earth. The astral light is coming out of that hole at the center of the dish. And it would have spread out all across the earth, creating this silica living being that's spread out across the earth and what I'm explaining to you is that you can see the remnants of this being that you are inside of right now so it's one side of a light hole is a black hole at the center of the dish is the holy of holies where the tree of life comes shooting out that's where you need to get to before you're dead and drink from the living waters and you become superhuman like that it's just that simple. A dog drinks from that water and the dog starts talking. Just like uh, they show in movies talking animals. Yeah, that's because they drank from this water here. And it's just like that. It's just that simple. I'm telling you, this place is a lot more interesting than you can imagine. So this living giant creature that crept out across the earth is still alive. When you go into the Holy of Holies, you will drink from that living water and you will live forever or you will get your way out of this matrix it's just that simple people that you're inside of a giant living organism right now and 
what I'm telling you is that the moon is sending down a square wave and it's keeping all this shit from growing back. It's keeping your brain half shut off and you need to rise above that frequency somehow. And that's going to happen through gratitude and stuff like that. So I recommend you ponder on this information for a little bit. It's going to take a little bit to sink in. That the center of the dish is where the Holy Grail is. And that used to be where the Tree of Souls was. That giant tree that they knocked down. Now there's the, the astral light. It shoots up, hits the parabolic mirror and showers down on us. What I'm telling you is at the center of the dish, there's something magical there. We need to get there. It's every compass points to it. And I'm going to keep pointing this out in every one of my fucking videos until people get it. That the tree of life is right over there. It's just that simple. It's a giant astral jet shooting out. When you go over there, you drink from the living waters. And you become a super being right there on the spot. Heaven on earth is at the center of the dish. It's right over there. Every compass points to it. So when people ask, where is that? Grab a compass. There's your yellow brick road. It's right there. That's your yellow brick road. You follow the compass to the center of the dish and you get everlasting life. It's just that simple. We gotta go. We gotta go. What can I do? What can I do? I the call word. Here we'll sit down. Here we'll sit down. Here we'll sit down. I'm coming to fix it. I'm coming to fix it. Let's get the magma. No, brother, when. Yeah, I don't want no I don't call it. Here we'll sit down. Here we'll sit down. Here we'll sit down. We're shaking the magma. We're shaking the magma. I'm coming here, sir. I'm coming here, sir. Hurry. Oh, get out of here. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? No, hurt off. Yeah. No, hurt off. Yeah. He never already did. He never already did. He never already did. Hey, you there all with this? Here a little fussy. Here a little fussy. I am benevolent flush. I am benevolent flush. Markron, dang it, fell. Markron, dang it, fell. Mr. Arthim. Mr. Arthim. Silly monster. Yes, what is this? Said no, see. I'm a fussy, I'm a naughty. I'm a fussy, I'm a naughty. I'm a fussy. I'm a naughty. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and release us all from bondage. Motherfucker. You're a low pussy. Fuck, fuck you. You're a low pussy. Fuck, fuck you. Stupid man, good. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. See our sissies. 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 No way to fuck this up. The ancient. Guardian of the Holy Grail, Braun. The first Fisher King was a man called Braun. Mark Braun, hang it out. You're officially dead, and a necrophiliac. Highly for Canada, you shiver. Defender of the human race, look down in pity upon this, your servant. Shut up your ass, you worthless piece of shit! Ah! Stick your cock up her ass, you motherfucking worthless cocksucker. <laughs> Nobody escapes me. Not even your filthy gods. You can't die in heaven, Dad! Christy Crooks! Samael is out. Why is Lily on us? It's spelled out for you clear. I hold the power over death. And nobody else. You will join me publicly in blood. And fill up the book of life or you will expire. I know where the fountain of youth is. And I'm going to get my eternal life. I don't take money, worship, or advice. You will join me in blood or expire by the book. Seal Corinthians 4-4. Our hearts need no recluse. 2 Corinthians 4-4. All calls seek no recluse. Seal Corinthians 4-4. Our hearts need no recluse. Why I need this? Say it please me off. We you a little pins of a hymen? We you a little pins of a hymen? Me for the snake below you. Nobody will escape it.